This is part two of my Star Wars Jedi and Knights ranked videos. Click the link on the screen to check out part one. In this video, I will be ranking all the main 20 Star Wars Sith and Jedi we see in the movies. Now I realize there are a lot of Jedi in the actual films, but like I said, just the main ones. So you won't see Plo Koon here, you won't see Kayati Mundi, you won't even see General Grievous, because technically he's not a force wielder, so he's not going to be on this list. So every single person you see on the screen right now is in this ranking. Now where part one ranked them on their lightsaber skill, part two is going to be ranking them on their overall force power and abilities. So essentially, who is the strongest force wielder? Let's find out. At number 20, we have Luke Skywalker from episode four. At number 19, we have Luke Skywalker from episode five. At number 18, we have Anakin Skywalker from Episode 2. At number 17, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi from Episode 1. At number 16, we have Kylo Ren from Episode 7. At number 15, we have Rey from Episode 7. At number 14, we have Darth Maul from Episode 1. At number 13, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi from Episode 2. At number 12, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi from Episode 3. At number 11, we have Mace Windu. At number 10, we have Qui-Gon Jinn. At number 9, Count Dooku. At number 8, Obi-Wan Kenobi from Episode 4. At number 7, Anakin Skywalker from Episode 3. At number 6, we have Jedi Master Yoda. At number 5, we have Darth Vader. At number 4, we have Luke Skywalker from Episode 6. At number 3, we have Darth Sidious. And at number 2, I chose Luke Skywalker from Episode 7. This is where I think he would be placed in the overall power scale. And at number one, I chose Snoke from episode seven. Now, although we haven't actually seen either Luke Skywalker or Snoke in action, I want to believe that they are at the very top of this list. Because if you remember how powerful Luke became in just episode six, just think how much stronger he'd be 30 years later. And I personally believe that Snoke has been around since even before Palpatine was born. And that's why he looks so old and crumbling. Because he learned how to survive just by feeding off the dark side for so many years. So I think someone who can actually live off the force is probably super strong. And that's why he's number one on this list. Now when it comes down to these force abilities, a lot of these Jedi and Sith can actually be mixed matched here and there. And this is just my personal ranking of them. But with all that said, this is just my opinion. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe if you guys enjoy my videos. And until next time, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.